The Ukrainian military launched a counteroffensive near Kharkiv. Almost every day the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine reports on new settlements liberated from Kremlin soldiers. But even in such cases, those who left the war zone are not yet advised to return home. It's extremely dangerous to return to these settlements at once. The enemy completely mined everything – schools, kindergartens, private houses, private sector. Two women in Tsirkuni unfortunately exploded in their own yard, their own household. Under the decisive blows of the Ukrainian military, some occupiers fled, others surrendered, sometimes one by one, sometimes whole groups. Here is one of them. There are about 20 Kremlin soldiers, and many of them were forcibly mobilized from the occupied territories of Donbass. However, when asked where they come from, they do not say a word about the so-called People's Republics. Those who decided to resist the Ukrainian army must now be gathered in the fields and trenches. Bags for bodies needed too. And these men tried to flee and came under fire. They failed to escape. This is how the Russian army abandons the mobilized from the occupied territories. It's typical Russian style – run away and leave your dead on the battlefield. But did Putin ever count his soldiers? Or maybe Shoigu did it? For them, the lives of Russians mean nothing. And even when the command knows that a soldier died in battle, he will be recorded as missing. The dead bodies will be taken to a landfill and thrown out. And Russian soldiers already know about it. <laughs> They were expecting an easy walk. They thought that they would kill Ukrainians with impunity. Instead, they sit in the trenches shaking with fear. And they kill themselves. He was in a trench with this machine gun. He refused to release it, so he fell asleep, but forgot to engage the preventer. As a result, he shot himself while sleeping. And while the Russians are shooting themselves in their sleep, the Ukrainian military is training to resist the occupiers. Armed forces, territorial defense, national guard, border guards – they are all learning to destroy the enemy. And they are waiting for the weapons promised by the West to expel the Russians from the Ukrainian soil.